Hi, my name is Willie Wilkinson, and this is my authentic life. I'm a father of three. I have three little kids under the age of eight. Um, and people often ask me, so do your kids know that you're transgender? Um, well, even though I, I've identified as transgender for many years, I only medically transitioned a couple of years ago. And so a few years back, um, my oldest, who was four at the time, said, Dada, are you a man? And I explained, well, some people see me that way and some people don't. People see me in different ways. I'm transgender. Can you say that? And he said it perfectly. And we talked about what transgender meant. Um, boys who felt that they were girls really inside or girls who really felt like they were a boy and so forth. Um, and he thought about it for a minute and he said, you're a transformer. And it was like, yeah, I get that. And it was cool points. And, but we also talked about how there aren't that many people who are transgender and it's unique. But for him, it's special. And for all my kids, I think it's special. So people often ask me like, what's that relationship like and how do they understand it? Well, I have to say they have a lot of transgender stuffed animals. And these are the ones that are their special stuffed animals. The ones they sleep with, the ones they drag with everywhere, the ones we have to tear the house up looking for um, if we can't find them and it's time to go to bed or it's time to go somewhere. So, um, you know, that's what it's about in my life, in my authentic life as a father of three. And for me, you know, I came out as transgender before we had language for it. I was born in the early 60s. I changed my name to Willie when I was nine in the early 70s, but without a real understanding about transgender issues in the school system or in, within my family and community, it wasn't really possible for me to transition. But I got to grow up and experience uh, the women of color movement of the 80s and the transgender movement of the 90s and work for trans access to care. Um, and that's something I feel very passionate about and I'm really thrilled about the changing landscape of access to care for transgender people in the state of California and hopefully we'll see more and more of that happen nationwide um, as we move forward. Um, what I do a lot of is training for providers, mental health, substance abuse, medical and other providers as well as educational institutions, businesses, social justice organizations, faith-based organizations and so forth. And I love what I do. I love talking to people about um, transgender issues, gender non-conforming folks and what that really looks like, giving us an opportunity to just ask those burning questions and talk about the complexity of gender because it's really very fascinating when you think about it, how we've been so stuck in these rules about gender and yet a lot of people can engage on that and really look at how they reject those rules regardless of how they might identify themselves or if, they, if they've even really thought about where they uh, relate to the, the larger LGBTQ community. Um, so I have a lot of fun with that. And we also look at practical systems and services and how we can really support trans and gender nonconforming folks. So I enjoy that. I'm writing a book called Born on the Edge of Race and Gender, A Voice for Cultural Competency. And um, in it, I talk about the ambiguity and complexity that I've experienced in my personal life as a mixed heritage person, as someone who identified as third gender for many years in a non-binary gender space, um, as a parent, as someone who has uh, experienced disability um, and mixed class and sexuality and so forth, and look at my personal experience within um, the work that I do um, as kind of a blend of personal storytelling and lessons from the field, the field of cultural competency and public health and policy. Um, and so um, it's interesting in that process of writing this book, just to reflect on the history of where we've been and where we are now. And I'm really excited about the transgender movement today because more and more we're being called on to be more visible, to, be, um, to, to release whatever shame we had, and to be our authentic selves, and myself included. I'm 51 years old and I'm just coming into it myself as far as really um, coming into myself as my authentic self and in my authentic